Hi everybody, hope you survived the rain and you haven't been flooded out. Lisa, I know, they were bailing out the ship all weekend. So if you do need anything, let us know. Uh, I'll come over and just get the wet dry back out. You be careful what you throw out. <laughs> I, I should have called him. You should have. We are just sitting around eating ice cream. Mm. So today we're going to keep things a little lighter and just do four questions about various things and get our feedback on what things we like and don't. So I can start with the first one. Uh, the question is, what's one of your biggest pet peeves? And I have a lot of them. Okay, did anyone, I was just, same thing, I have a lot of pet peeves. <laughs> I think they've changed where like, so pet peeve is just something little that bothers yeah. you. It doesn't have right. to like really. Right. Right get you agitated, but there are certain things that, yeah, mm -hmm. they, they bother me. So, when people leave shopping carts anywhere but the car corral, mm -hmm. in between cars, oh. or I'll see them like put oh. it next to the car corral, like they couldn't just walk around the corner, and I've, I have moved them into the corral while like looking at them, just like, <laughs> this, this is what you couldn't do right here. Clearly you yeah. were not able to see. Yeah, well. it's just laziness. Yeah. Cam, Cam, I've even talked to Cam, I'd be like, they're lazy. I'm like, yes, they are, Cam. <laughs> <laughs> He's raising a vigilante, a cart vigilante. That's, that's all I've ever wanted. <laughs> <laughs> Someone to enforce this with me. Yes. We just patrol parking lots. Anyway, uh, two for me, people that are way too competitive for the situation. So board games is a big one. Like people that are just going all in or fighting over what the answer is, and it's like, we're, we're not playing for anything, right? Like, this is just a fun, or was a fun yeah, activity. Yeah, it used to be a fun game. So that, and anything, whether sports or whatever, if, if clearly this is just for a good time, and there's usually one person that's just way too intense or into it, I don't care for that. And then the last one, I have people that are entitled. Ooh. Just not a fan. I thought you were saying, like, things that just kind of bother you and don't really, like, Full out age too. Like, I do one of those. I think that, yeah, I, um, I would stroke out on. I mean, I don't yeah. get super heated typically. Like, I, I'm not a big road rage person. If mm -hmm. someone cuts me off, I'm more like, oh, well, it's okay. I guess this is what we're doing now. <laughs> but I'm not like hugging <laughs> and like, whoa. Oh my so, gosh. It bothers me. <laughs> well, it depends well. on your commute and how often you do it. Yeah. <laughs> and I will say, people seem more, it seems like there's more traffic. In the last week, I've noticed yeah, more the last cars week, out. For sure. And people yeah. do Forgot seem how. to be a little more agitated in general. Forgot how to drive. Perhaps. Sounds like someone who's been agitated. Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not me. No, never A is. friend. I'm talking for a I friend. I know someone. <laughs> I think it's more so now that we're home. My pet peeves are more like um, mm -hmm. somebody that like eats something and then just throws their dishes in the sink and leaves mm -hmm. all the things on the stove and like the fairy's gonna come and put those things away and, or takes the last of anything, maybe an egg or and doesn't write a list. Like I think these are things like at home that are not like <laughs> earth shaking, but it's like right. seriously. Right. So that's like the so, definition of pet peeve, I think. It's like, little, like in the grand scheme of things, yeah. it's probably not like yeah. a huge deal. But yet, like, how hard is it? Come on, people. Right, right. And the dishwasher is like right by the sink. So open the door and throw it in there. Yeah. Or it's see, like in our house, if you, you know, like we have a, a refrigerator in the basement as well for backup supplies because we seem to go through a lot. <laughs> and so it's the... You leave one sip of milk in the gallon oh. so that you don't have to go down to the basement and carry your lazy butt oh. down there and get it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. A lot bothers of that. You? It bothers me yeah. a little bit. A wee bit. Yeah. Um, I hope you're listening. Yeah. <laughs> Kevin. Yeah. Oh. Joe. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, at the home thing. But yeah. also the car thing, or parking in a handicapped spot. Oh, I don't, I don't really know. That's more that. than a oh, pee. That's yeah. just I, mm. yeah. yeah. What about the pregnant mother's spot? I do people do that? Do they park in there? Like you see, like a man get out. I, like, I, first of all, <laughs> I, I don't know what you're insinuating, but 
Yeah. I, I certainly have never. Well, I mean, I, it's only at like certain places. Yeah. Like, Bye Bye Baby, or there's right. a killer story. Oh, they've been a while since I've been to Bye Bye Baby. Thank God. Yeah. I hope I never have to go again. And on the entitled thing, people who are rude to wait staff. Mm. Ooh, right. I think really the entitled thing goes yeah. to like you are here solely to serve me right. and right. my obnoxious needs. Um, yeah, it makes me. Everybody like, should have a job throat. in waitstaff or right. restaurant or service of some sort. Okay, so then now that you said that too, people who leave stuff in fitting rooms. Oh, oh yeah. Uh, I mean, on a hanger. Or like just in general, like I didn't like you know it's on the ground, but like hung it up maybe and put it in there. To, to take but are you supposed to take it out? I thought they asked little, you to leave it. Yeah, there. no. Sometimes it depends on where you're using. Right. So if you're, but like, you're oh, right, just throwing it on just the floor. Like how how hard is it? Yeah, throwing it on the floor in a pile. Which oh, oh. to be in a fitting room again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, when's the last? Oh, I haven't oh. been in a fitting room. Come on, yeah. TJ Maxx, open. Right. So oh. again, I think if you. have been in those rooms. Yeah, that's rude. Right. If you've been a waiter, yeah, if you've been a uh, retail uh, person, you really pay attention to those kinds of things. Especially getting yelled at when it's not your fault. Yeah. Like there's, oh you yeah, know, the middle screwing man? up an order and then going way overboard with how upset you are. But then there's also like yelling at things that are out of their control. Yeah. Th that's why this is taking so that's long. That's the extra yeah. stuff. I'm yeah. Not cooking the food. I'm simply serving your son. Right. Water. Yeah, or I've been with people where you're where you're seated in a restaurant is not oh yeah good enough. Mm. The air is blowing on you. Too close to the bathroom. To this oh. is an odd to be with that company. You're like <laughs> <laughs> don't put me by the window. Don't spin I mean, like a window. You can sit us at two different tables. <laughs> that works better. Yeah. Um. So uh, then the home thing towels towels mm. like mm. I'm sorry. But is there anyone else who knows how to turn, turn on mm -hmm. the washing machine for towels? Mm -hmm. It doesn't just magically appear from the laundry basket mm -hmm. into the bathroom. Yeah, and don't throw wet towels on top of my dirty clothes because then they're going to smell like musty, whatever, either. That's the other thing. Yeah. In, the, in a dirty clothes pile and then wet towels. And then yeah. a, Well, my ties, later. ties into that. It's the verbiage that's used around that I can't. Oh. <laughs> that's my biggest pet peeve. Well, yeah. I can't. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I can't. I, I just can't. And it gets real whiny. And you haven't even tried. So how do you know you can't? Or right. I don't like? Or I, I, yeah. I don't. Come on. I, I think you can. can. You physically can. You can, can. do anything. Yes, you put can. your mind to. Yes, but you those can. two words, I can't, really oh. rub me yeah. the wrong way. Yeah. <laughs> I won't is worse. That's <laughs> and that you don't always want to say. Yeah. Me. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> you yeah. will. That's a good one. Yeah. Oh. yeah. <sighs> Do we feel like we've. Oh, I didn't think I had any. I feel a little better. Woo. Do you? I had no, I don't know. Because I'm not all hot and bothered. I had way more pet peeves than I thought. All right, well, then let's go to something else. We'll, we'll ease into positive okay. thoughts. So, name um, something you think is overrated and name something you think is underrated. So, overrated can kind of like fulfill our whole peeve quota, and then we'll start bringing it up to happy thoughts with underrated. Right. right. Hmm. Overrated. I know, I don't. Owning a home. <laughs> yeah. yes. I mean, it's just a never ending cha ching, cha ching, cha ching, cha ching. Yeah. Everything. It's just a lot. It's a lot of maintenance. And when you're home all the time, you realize it's even more. I think things that you, you know, it's just, I don't know. You know what you need to do? You're looking at Lower it. Lower your standards. <laughs> maybe that's it. Maybe that's it. Underrated neighbors. Because I oh. feel like, oh. especially with yeah. what just happened. Good neighbors. Good neighbors. Good neighbors. Our neighbors yeah. seriously came, like, running over to help us yesterday. And it was a good lesson to my kids because they don't, they didn't grow up the way we did, where we knew all our neighbors. We right. were running in and out of their houses. Right. Our bikes were in their driveway. Right. We were eating lunch, at, you know. And our house, and I think this is kind of typical, there's so many people on our street, we don't even know. Yeah. And many of them don't even wave. So you're just like, you know, it, it's just, everyone's busy or whatever yeah. it is. Unless you have kids on the street that you meet their families at the bus stop or something, otherwise, right. you. And then you're just like, oh, you're, no you're Johnny's like mom. Right, right. It's just not, and we were 
on a sidewalk on our street now, and it's just like not as yeah. And by us too, we are we don't have sidewalks, and everyone's on at least an acre. So right. But I will say, you know, them. we had our neighbors that were like family to us. We shared a. And, you know, like our backyards butted up to each other and they moved away. They had a lot of nerve last year after being there. How rude. We know who you are. We know who you are. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <coughs> and they were, <laughs> I mean, they were family to us. They still are. Don't yeah. get me wrong. <laughs> They're dead to us now. They moved <laughs> right. out of our lives. That's what she said, yeah. Um, and yeah, that I totally agree with that. Yeah. It was really good for our kids to see the neighbors running over who had nothing to do with what was going on in our right. house and were helping. And even the one son came of the neighbors. And then Joe was kind of like, hmm, that kid's two years younger than me. Maybe I should get out there. Like, So it was like good for them to see like they were coming to help us. Nothing in it for them. Just and We didn't even call them. They just saw it and ran over. So kudos to my neighbors. Mm. Nice. Were, uh, good job. Nice neighbors. Heroes. All right, uh, what are some underrated, overrated? I have a hard time with that. <laughs> so I have a few. Oh. I think bottled water is overrated. I, I agree. There are so many people that like, oh, I can't get, I can't drink tap water. I'm like, so it's water. And I'm sure there are- Unless it has high radium, so maybe would There's serve. good and bad. In Cary, our water is notoriously not good. Like in restaurants, the first time we went out to one, obviously not recently, but <laughs> We were uh, like, there's something wrong again. with the water. And they're like, oh no, that's just carry water. And we're like, oh, <laughs> oh. okay. It's a thing. Carry water. So I get it. I get yeah. that there's good and bad. But in people that will like Chicago refuse to drink any yeah. water, like it's filtered from the fridge. Yeah, but it's not bottled. I don't know. And I mean, then we filter, you know, because <clears throat> we're on well water. So we filter and uh, I mean, those of you know, Many filters. So yeah, the filters have filters. Filter. Triple distillation. The filters have filters. We, filters. Have, filters. we have, have a whole house filter, filter. filter and then filter for the fridge, and then we filter that through a breeder filter in our kitchen. Oh my goodness. Yeah. It's a lot of changing filters. Yeah. So really, like bottled water is like. Yeah. Hey, you don't drink that. We don't even take baths <laughs> with bottled <That's> water. Right. <laughs> don't give that to a dog. I'm not kidding. All right, and then I have two TV shows which may or may not upset people. Are but overrated or underrated? Are totally overrated. Oh, okay. Oh. The Bachelor. Never I, seen it. I cannot stand. How many people are? It's twenty some people, and you have to marry one of them. It just bothers me that like you no. No, you just have to propose. I okay. mean, somebody told me. <laughs> but yeah, you're in this dream environment where like yeah. things are given to you, you're going yeah. on dates, totally. they're all attractive. That is not yeah. real life. No. Like, can you picture a classroom in high school and like, okay, one of these people in the room you have to marry. Like, um... Maybe if I go on vacation with them for... Right. Yeah, vacation, fine. Yeah. I mean, don't we all get along better on vacation? Yeah. I've never watched well, an episode, but I know. I've, I've seen what it is. And then this is... Yeah. It sounds awesome. Pools but then... And hot dogs. <laughs> and hot dogs but then the thing to me, too, is like... It's such a hard decision, so then you get down to the end, it's down to like two or three people, and they're like, I just really don't know. And obviously they're dramatizing it That's for the time TV. to watch, though, that last two or three episodes. But just saying. If, but you're, really if your spouse, if your spouse right now knew, like, it was between you and two others, it was a coin flip, and you won, congratulations. <laughs> like, maybe you shouldn't be marrying them. Shouldn't it be a slam dunk where you're like, yeah, there's one person I like, mm -hmm. no one else. So that, the whole premise of it, from top to bottom, I just... Okay. I know a couple of our senior members who enjoy The Bachelor. Oh, I know yeah. a lot of couple. people who do. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Yeah. men. <laughs> Perhaps in this yeah. room. I mean, yeah, but uh, yeah. Overrated. Only the last, well, it's on because my daughters watch, but the last couple I, I'm like, okay. It's like an end of a basketball game. It's very much exciting to see what happens. Overrated. Also, okay. friends. <sighs> Oh, Friends, the show. The I'm show. like, Friends are over real. Just be real. <laughs> you don't mean it. You don't mean I mean, any. Oh. What could I be? Underrated. No, the TV show Friends, I think women typically like it more than men or into it more. I just, I can't get on board. See, but I see you as a character in Friends. Great. I hate it even more. <laughs> I just, yeah, I just don't get it. Mm hmm Okay. I know people who are completely captivated. I'm not completely captivated by Shefflin it. Shefflin loves it. You're a big I friend. Love Krista loves friends. I think it's just, you'll always laugh at something. I will, yeah. I something will ever. make you laugh. Yeah. I think it's a very good, what do they call it, ensemble yeah. uh, group. 
Yeah. Sure. And they play off of each other with yes. I mean, quick yeah. wit, love that. It's not like it's like mindless. Uh, yeah. We're like not we're looking at anything. These, you know, uh, replicas of their, of their set they do. Yeah, that right. Is very much I just stood in line for that. So, um, given this uh, current company, I might be in trouble on this one, but my overrated is uh, college degrees. Yeah. I just think Could that be. so many people put um the emphasis on a piece of paper rather than experience and personality i think it's gotten too easy to look at their their resume and say oh okay they got a degree move on they're in right. who's right. next you don't have one you're out i no i agree it's a bad cutoff if that's what it is but like and it is i mean it is prerequisite right. wise for so many things right. that's what it is and i think yeah. i right. For me, I would much rather take somebody who's worked themselves up to a certain point than someone that comes in fresh and is just like, yep, I got this. Again, back to that entitlement maybe. And don't get me wrong, I know that a college degree is so much more than it going is. to class. It's, it's, it's what that builds as far as, you know, work ethic and oh, you know, like studying skills, things you right. have no intention of ever pursuing, but you have to because it's part of this. I get that, but I also don't dismiss the whole like working you know just having to not being able to have that opportunity or, or that's not the right fit for you academically right. Oh, right. and just working your way through things so there you go maybe depending on what you're going to be though too well obviously yeah. i want my brain surgeon to yes i right. agree please two yeah. several. well that's the thing exactly <laughs> or yeah. teachers specific, yes teachers, teachers obviously teachers and vets Check. but like for I'm me going. yeah my degree is yeah. in psychology and there's no like one specific route to go. So yeah. it wasn't specialized. I right. wasn't getting into like right. therapy or right. whatever. So yeah, I'm right there with you. I felt like I learned more in college Critical, really. outside of class, like yeah. about me and growing up than the classroom was just like busy work stuff. Right. Yeah. How much of that am I using on a day-to-day -day basis? And I feel like academics, they do need to change a bit in that like, you know, going to college and, and having to do all these other things that have nothing to do, even remotely, well, that's true. with your with your degree. Right. I'm sorry, right. but to me, that is about the cha-ching, cha-ching, cha-ching. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm done. How much was that, that, that underwater under basket weaving <laughs> class you took? Right. Online. I mean, we all have those college courses where we're like, yeah. oh, yeah, that was the best. Bowling. Really? Unless you were paying the building for that. <laughs> Yeah. 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 So. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, I have an underrated. I don't oh. really know that I have any uh, overrated, but being home, this is coming up more and more and looking at the house and where we live. It's overrated. I, we do not have sidewalks. Yeah. And so when we're out and about, it's like we have little narrow roads in Island Lake, around the lake, and you're all like, get over, there's cars. Get over, there's yeah. cars. It's right. like a parade. All yeah. There's yeah. so many cars. So I really, really yeah. miss a good sidewalk. Yeah. Um, I, with yes. the kids. Right. It's very kids. dangerous. <coughs> and that's how and you meet totally. people, because then people are on the sidewalk. I can yes. see that. Yeah. yeah. Yes. True. Again, we don't have sidewalks either. And mm -hmm. all those things that you took for granted if, if, if growing up with sidewalks, right. from learning to ride a bike uh -huh. to, right. you know, hopscotch, yeah, whatever. Anything. You know, go yeah. play in the road. Right. Yeah. You don't have to shovel it yourself, though, because you don't have one, so that's good. No one, yeah. I know, but think about all that income as a kid that you'll lose. I know, <laughs> Shovel the true. neighbor's sidewalk? Come right. on! That was like Peter right there. Yep. And then underrated, did you have... I said my first. Oh, yeah. I said my first. All right. Well, underrated. Underrated, underrated. yeah. Working your way up. Yeah. Okay. My underrated was sleep. People are like, I'll sleep when I'm dead. I'm like, I mean, I can do that then too, but I would like to sleep now. Also, as much as possible. Not right now, but. No, maybe right now. <laughs> and then I said a really good hug. Mm. Oh. Some people just aren't great huggers. And when you get a good hug and you're like, that was a above average hug. I don't think we'll ever go back to hugging. I mean. Not with that attitude. <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> I, I'm a hugger, and I just feel like I hug people yeah. that don't even expect it sometimes, and you just <laughs> so like I just you know, and especially around right here, we're yes. hugging yeah. on a Friday yeah. night when it's goodbye to everybody after one of our oh events. Gosh. 
You're hugging. It's yeah. like your family. We yeah, hug a lot of people. Machine. Jim, don't deny. Yeah. So that maybe that's where you're getting those good, good hugs. hugs. Maybe that's where you're getting those good hugs. Oh. But I mean, I, I feel like I hope people. I hope people aren't gonna be stopping hugging. Kevin and Sister Maureen, best hugger in the world. Yeah. Really? Oh, she's hugs with her whole body. I hope she is a hugger. Yeah, some people yeah. Got, like a good hugger. They got a gift. Yeah, there are the hugs, and then it. That is like, like the wet fish hug, you know. I mean, like, right. Or the. Oh yeah. The pat hug. Oh yeah. Not a fan of the pat hug. Distance. Yeah, the side pat. <laughs> yeah. Air hug. But that's what we have now. Yeah. 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 Okay. yeah. All right. What are you most looking forward to when things quote go back to normal? <clears throat> you guys here. Everybody here, one thing huge, filling up this center with our friends. Yeah. Having lunch with my mom. Mm. But yeah, my Sunday night dinners. You know, having everybody yeah. over for Sunday night dinner. I I'm really missing that. A party. Yeah. Get Celebrate together for like holidays. Yeah. And birthdays. Yeah. Not just a drive by. Right. right. Not to mention a good pedicure. I'd like some highlights. Totally. <laughs> I said being part of the crowd cheering for something. And I don't even care what we're cheering for. Like a sports like event? Sporting event, came to my, or like fireworks, <coughs> or anything yeah. where everyone's just like excited for the same thing. Right. So sporting event probably is like the most obvious. Yeah. But anything where everyone is just excited yeah. for something, like right. the energy you get from that. Yeah. And everyone's just That's so good. happy. And right. it's like, in the great right. scheme of things, does this matter? It's no. <laughs> but in the moment, it's like, like, oh, a double and two runs scored. Oh, like, this is the high greatest five, thing ever. Yeah. High Everyone's high so happy with people around right. them. Like, yeah, you're high fiving people you don't even know. It's. Hugging them, that. maybe. That's <laughs> true. Maybe hugging them. Maybe hugging. Yeah. yeah. That was mine. So I don't care what the. I mean, we could create it here. We could just cheer for whatever. It's funny how that would, that would not be something on your radar like a couple months ago, right? Would you say that? It's like something that you really uh, like not. appreciate, you know? Yeah. That, that probably wouldn't. And be I fun. haven't been to a baseball game in a while because, I mean, the boys obviously can't sit through a four-hour game or whatever. <laughs> um, <I'm dying. laughs> but like when we go to the Cubs and Brewers games. Yeah. And when the crowd is just like electric from something, that's such a cool feeling. So true. Yeah, that's mine. Mm. And then last, if you could only watch one TV show or movie the rest of your life, so you turn on the TV <laughs> and this is the only thing that comes on, what, what would it be? Is it the same episode over and over? No. It could be no. a series. Yeah, so that oh, TV you. show might be a... Um, more practical answer because if it's a movie, you're stuck on the same two right. hours so, again and again. Mm, I kind of had one. All right, I'm thinking now. Okay. Is that your movie? Well, you can. I don't want to deter you away from that. If that's your movie, go for it. For me, I went straight to a TV show because then you're looking at many episodes. And so, what's your TV show? I would say Parks and Recreation <laughs> or Scrubs. Oh Those my gosh, two. Scrubs! Love that hasn't been around scrubs. in a long time. I can picture who was in it. But That's it. Yeah. Zach Braff. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Tom Faison. It's only guy in the picture. A lot of, yeah, it's funny. It's, it is. It's witty. Yeah, those would be mine. Hmm. Schitt's Creek. Chris has been watching that a lot. Hilarious. Really? She's like, it's good. And heartfelt and, like, meaningful. Yeah. Yeah, it's a good one. A recent one, too. Yeah. Is it able to catch up on those Netflix? <laughs> <laughs> I'm very one and done. I don't ever want to see it again. I'm not like, oh, put that in, put that on. That that is not who so I am. So you don't have like a huge movie. It's because she doesn't fall asleep. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I saw watch the entire. <laughs> I saw the whole thing. Why do I need to see it again? <laughs> We've learned Laura's never fallen asleep during a movie <laughs> ever. Oh. So oh like that's why I would watch things a lot. So I really am not, I don't like that, but <laughs> to choose, so I guess I would choose Lost. Yeah. Oh. Have you, you rewatched no. it? No, either. No, I haven't. You might want to. Right now, like today, yeah. just binge the whole thing. Yeah. Hmm. So my, well, I was thinking movie, and my movie, our family movie is What About That? I, 
was oh really my good gosh, one. Yeah. I just love that movie. That's a good one to watch again. Yeah, <laughs> it just. Mm. But then, and this one, you guys are like, I'm just, I don't even want to look at you, Jillian, because it PBS. was. Yes. Yeah, so, I knew it was going to be something educational. It was. No, it's not educational. Oh, and it's Mike it? Leonard, who was a feature film guy for one of the TV things, news things, feature little snippet. Anyway, it's called Ride of Our Lives. And. Oh, you had me watch that. I did, yes. And it just is, it's. His, Enthralling. He and his three or four adult children go and grab his parents from the East Coast and they ride in a motorhome like and they just do things. Not it's stop his, action. It's not that's what I like about it. it. It's not. It's just the everyday that you it, it forces you to appreciate things that you have in your own life and you don't take notice of. Like right now. Yeah. Like right now. Yeah, See, true. But it is, I and I love it. it. And he, from yeah. a very, you know, now it's so easy to, with your phones and what have you, to take snippets of your kids' lives that right. are the everyday. It didn't used to be that way. Like, you had to bring out the camera and put the film in it and, you know, like, get it all More banged up. Thing than but a from, his kids have to be, like, in their 30s and early 40s now. And so going back that far, and he did that, like, you know, his, comes home from work and his one kid had drawn with marker or crayon on the wall and rather than just be like losing his business about <laughs> it he's filming it and, and talking to his wife like the whole interaction about like what you do when your child marks up your walls and that was before magic eraser sponges by the way <laughs> so thank god for those <laughs> i just think it was so foreseen for him to to capture that and yeah as you can tell, I'm a fan. But I, I just, because I just like that. I like, I used to do it with our boys when they were little, of capturing those moments, like, you know, the older, older ones reading to the little babies and mm -hmm. things like that. Just those moments. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So anyway, awesome. that's what I would, I would, I would like to see that. Just keep watching it. Hopefully then they would add on. But <laughs> yeah. Or yeah. Parenthood. I've heard. I don't know if I can handle that. I need to watch that one. I'm just not Ooh, I know. Up. I know. It's really good. I but it's good. You're gonna cry. I know. <laughs> and then my yeah. biggest is, is Afterlife. How many do you have? No, I know. I have a hard time. <laughs> hard. <laughs> Afterlife. Ricky Gervais. Oh my gosh, he just slays me. And is yeah. that Netflix? Yes. Okay. Afterlife. Yeah, Look it up. Very <laughs> foul mouth, but in a good cheeky way. <laughs> All right, so there's Susan Six answers. Yeah, there's Susan Six. You know what? This is how like you were with all the other you were questions. Pet you had all these other little, you know, like, well, are we talking about? Yeah, one option. Right, right. See, so. Well, all right. I'm, I'm I guess we'll call you. Thank you. Well, thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. <laughs> Hopefully, no more rain. Oh my gosh. But it sounds like there will be more. Actually, it's Memorial Day. It's Memorial Day. Day. It's Memorial Day. Day. Yeah. Oh yeah, so it'll have to be. So. Yeah, we'll keep you posted. But keep a lookout for our June calendar. That'll be coming out soon, too. Yeah. So we have lots of stuff planned for June. You'll see. Can't wait. Yeah. All right. All right. Ta-ta. Have a great week. Bye.